<laughs> hey, we're back for a vlog. It's been a long time since we've done this, but we're back, so we're excited. And it's late, so sorry. We're looking a little haggard. But anyways, <laughs> we're going to answer a few questions and that you asked yesterday, so here we go. I didn't see any of these before you even press record. Yeah, well, a lot of them are about your um, shoveling snow in shorts. People are very confused by that. Talk about how you don't have feeling in your legs or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, shorts are an all-year wardrobe, all-year whatever you want to call it. I don't know. My legs don't get cold. My upper body does, but my legs don't. Yeah. I love the... I hate wearing pants. I hate it. I'm I'm a lot like that, too. I, I never like get cold. Or something. <laughs> I try not to be outside. The only time I'm outside is for running, really. I guess we did go sledding, but other than that, I can't handle handle it. Okay. Um, Abby asked what our nicknames are for each other. I can't think of any... I call you ran. I I mean, it's a lot of random stuff all the time. I don't know. I have a very random brain. I've been trying. No, I don't know. I've been trying to get Jay to stick, but I don't really like it. Yeah, Knox calls me Nene, so that's kind of his special name for me. That only he calls me. Yeah, she won't even let me call her that. So. Yeah, that's just me and Knox's name. But the funny thing is, I have no idea what or who she's talking to because she'll call Knox honey and call me honey or call. What are the other things you do? Brooke Babe or... Yeah, so it's like, or... that's why I don't even respond anymore. She, she's, she's talking to three other people <laughs> that I don't even know. So. Maybe even Beretta, too. No. no I don't call her that either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then she also asked, does Andrew still try to get all sneaky and scare you? All the time. He does. All but the time. Can, do you want me to tell them about Target, or do you want to run that over? Long story short, me, don't Brooke, lie. Andrew, don't lie to them. at Target... Yeah, this is true. And Andrew's like, oh, I'm going to go over here and grab something. I'm like, okay, we'll meet you over by, I think we were getting stickers or some art supply for Brooke. So I was like, I'll meet you over there. So Brooke and I sneak behind like a thing of clothing because we knew he was going to come this way. <laughs> and we stood there for like seven minutes just being so quiet and okay, so it was still. not that long. It was... 17 minutes then and then along comes Andrew and we jump out and scare him and it was just I was proud I was on a mission <laughs> to get the stuff I needed to we were going to so we love to go shopping at Costco it's like my go-to favorite Disneyland in this world mm -hmm. and someone got hangry and we I had to hurry hangry. and so I was hurrying I was on a mission focused <laughs> zoned in like I knew exactly where they're gonna be and I'm surprised I didn't punch one of them because someone just jumped out of the women's lingerie section of yes, all things. Sure. It was the best location for us to be hiding. It's, so it took a lot of thought to pull that one off. And I had some we good ones well. though, Which ones have I done? I I scared you really bad the other day when you were um because I turned my music on in the bathroom, so he thought I was in the bathroom. Remember that? That was a good one. And then I hid somewhere else. And he came by and I scared him. Actually, I think that was the biggest. This one might be a little inappropriate, but I don't care. Um, I love when she's in the bathroom or something. Oh, yeah. I when sneak I'm in a shower, and she can't tell. It's it is ridiculous. my favorite. Yeah, because that's go in there. really scary when one you're in the times, shower. Yeah. Just like, okay. <laughs> well, one of these times you're going to eat crap. <laughs> no. But I do beat him in this a lot. So I'm really glad. a whole bunch of them. Um, no, before that. Oh. No, that's the last one we had. Those aren't questions. Those are statements. No, that's the one we just... Oh, no. Nope. Oh, there we go. Does Andrew have any upcoming races? And are you thinking about a marathon again this year? Um, I'll be doing a half marathon in what? What's in it? What the, what's the month? May... Around May 3rd around or May 4th or something. or something like that. So, yeah. I'm doing that. I got the hiccups. Um, doing that... Marathon, I'm not sure. I gotta find out how school is gonna be in the next little bit. But yeah, yeah, definitely trying to get back into running. And yeah, I was kind of bummed I didn't do St. George. So I think I'm gonna do that and try to. I'm never taking running very serious. I've never really trained ever. Yeah. I've just kind of did my own thing, and I like to run just so I can eat more and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know. So I, I think with Janae. Cracking the whip at me. I think we'll be able to, <laughs> to train, start training and being a little more smart about things. Yep. So, yeah, I'm excited. So that's our first half marathon. 
for me at least. And yeah, I'm gonna, some other I'm gonna going to probably do Dogtown in February. And then I love the half marathon in May. That's like one of my favorites. And there's a few local ones that I want to do. And as far as a marathon, again, this year goes, I've kind of leaned more towards fall marathons more than spring marathons just because of the weather. Doing a 20 miler in four degrees and all that kind of stuff, it's hard. But it's I could do it, I guess. Yeah. It's really bad. And the inversion's awful. And so things like that. But um, But we're just not, we're not sure our family plan and things like that. And so the marathon obviously depends a little bit on that and kind of where we're at with that. But who knows? Maybe yes, maybe no. We'll kind of play it by ear. The great you questions. You're right. You I know. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, Jen had, oh, Jen with one N and then Jen with two Ns had a question about tempo runs and like what paces you, you should be going. And I kind of want to do like a full post about this where I can include like a lot of different references and cite a bunch of different articles and like professionals that, you know, not some random girl in Utah telling you what you should do. But how I base my tempo is, you know, usually you can go off of what's your like 5k pace, you know, your last race or something and add 30 seconds to that. Or I, um, it's, it's supposed to be a comfortably hard pace. So if five is comfortable and 10 is a race, like five is just an easy run. You're just going out, having fun. And a 10 is like all out race. Uh, you want to be at an eight. So you can still talk and things like that, but it's, it's hard. Like today I was, I was struggling, but I could still talk if I needed. And, but hopefully with time, my threshold will just drop. And so what I, what I'm choosing for my, um, for my tempo right now is like, I really want to get a sub 130 for my next half marathon. I don't know. I, I, that's what I really want. And so a 650, 651 is a sub 130. So that's what I'm going for. And if over the next eight, nine weeks, that threshold pace drops for my tempos and things like that, then I'll probably go out a little bit faster for race day. So yeah, I'll write a full post about that. Cause that's a great question and something I think we're all, um, all confused about. Okay, I'm scrolling through. Are you seeing? I'm Megan D. I see oh, your yeah. comment. Okay, she didn't ask a question though. Probably because know. she knows this in real life. I just wanted to oh, this is a good one. Um, it's about supplements. Do you take any supplements? What are your personal? Oh, she also hates holding things. I love that. Yeah. yeah so this Sorry. Is um. um so, do you take any supplements? I don't. I take like a multivitamin. Um, I was taking iron for a while until I fell off that bandwagon and I need to get right back on that. But no, I don't take supplements right now. Um, I used to do, what is that called? I don't even remember the name of it. Beta alanine? Is that? Okay. I'm going to have to look up all my stuff that I used to take for like when I was training more heavily. But yeah, right now I don't take anything, so... You what did you do? What did you do for the marathon though? You did something different for that. Yeah, I was doing like Vega, the um, pre-race or pre-run fuel and like energy and stuff like that. And but, you had that on the run. That was mm -hmm. it seemed like that did better. Yeah, that helped a ton during the race. So I don't I'll be do doing anything. that again. I don't. There's no yeah. rhyme or reason how I run. I just do it. So yeah. Just do it. And then what are your personal recommendations on fueling at, before a long run race? Oh, that's what I was oh that one's. That one's so personal. I think that it's just something you have to play around with. You have to experiment with. Because after, like, I found out that peanut butter and Janae do not work well together before a race. But things like um, cereal do. It's weird because you think the dairy wouldn't work very well. Or um, bagels, plain bagels with jam, things like that. That's what I usually have before a race. Uh, those honey singer waffles, Ooh, I love, love that I love before, those. and they're just so simple to digest. So I think the simpler it it is to digest something, the better probably for your run. Cool. Okay. Sorry, we're taking up your more morning. Wait, there's one. Okay, where? Oh, it's another short. Oh one. yeah, another shorts. People are very confused by you, as am I. Um. Okay. Oh. Jen asked, she's curious about my current training plan. Are you making it up based on your experiences, previous plans, or are you just winging it week by week in terms of thinking I'll do a tempo one day, et cetera? And then if so, do you pre-plan and pace you want to hit, or how do you determine that? So 
for where I'm at right now, we were kind of talking about this today. Um, I found a training plan on Runners Connect that I really liked some of the workouts. And I'll probably be doing one or two of those workouts a week. And then I've also just been doing workouts that I've known have worked for me in the past with half marathons. And that's kind of how my brain works best because I don't like it to be too structured. I like to have, you know, kind of go a little bit off of how I'm feeling, what the week's been like, uh, what my goals are, you know, and I like to kind of go off of that, you know, and just make sure I'm doing like easy day, at least an easy day or two easy days in between each hard workout and just knowing kind of what, how my body responds best to different workouts. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And I'll include a link to that training plan that I'm using. So do you have anything to say? I think that was our last question. Do you have anything to say? Uh, Deep thoughts by Andrew? On the spot. Um, no. No? You're good. Okay. Well, hope you have a happy Friday and you're great. Wear Run those shorts. In the snow. That's okay. <laughs> okay, bye. See ya.